Jeez, what was that experience like? It was crazy. I think, um, you know, I had, I had to, we had to wrestle uh, Nip to go with us. Right, because he didn't want to go. He was money. Nip with you in the, uh, when you were doing the CDs and DVDs and no. everything at a distance? And Nip was doing his thing. You know, right. he was, um, he was hustling. He, he was, he was getting money a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. He, he, you know, he put me up on that, that, um, that CD thing a long time ago when he was in, uh, when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. He actually built a computer. Young with the burner in it and was showing me. I was like, man, he's bringing backpacks full of uh, equipment. He stole uh, computer parts <laughs> and then he bring it in the bedroom. We shared the bedroom. I'm like, bro, get this shit up out of here, man. I'm, I'm clean. I, I, I wanted my shit clean. Right. I'm like, get this junk out of here. I'm building the computer. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. You building the computer. <laughs> so he built it and that motherfucker was working and then he stole a CD burner. He got one and he put it in and he showed me and he, t and, uh, he came back, I think, one day from high school with like $300. And so this is the time I'm flipping burgers still. I'm making like 60, 70 a day. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, I made 300 today, man. And I'm off of off the of CDs. CDs? Yeah, yeah. You know, all the news, he was telling me, I go to Napster, I'll get it before mm -hmm. it comes out. I got a list. Then he showed me these lists. He's like, I got another three, 400 orders that I'm burning today to get to school. So I was just, now I'm like, I'm like, all right, show me. And yeah. so now he showed me everything, and you know, that wasn't junk anymore, huh? For not junk, and you know, yeah. he, at, at this point he was he was still kind of shorter than me. So I'm like, all right, that's mine. Right. I took over the. <laughs> so he was mad. We arguing back you and forth. Take over the enterprise. The, I'm taking over this burner for a minute, but no, I always joke and laugh. Like man, he put, he put, any any hustle we was ever on, me, everybody, our friends that we grew up with, you know, bro, bro was the visionary and, and brought it and to the from team. From an early age. From though. an early age, man. Early age. Damn. So when. When you see that there is this lucrative thing that can go on and Nip is already on it, right. and you take it, you say, man, it went from, you know, from trash to treasure and it becomes your thing. Right. You go for two and a half months to Africa. Mm -hmm. You bury the money before you bounce. Yeah. You come back home. Yep. You, and where was the money buried at? 